Hi, guys. Hey, guys. Welcome to another episode of Parker Group Live. Today, we wanted to chat about a very specific topic, but one that does come up occasionally, and a lot of times it just throws people for a loop. Um, so whether you're a buyer or a seller, especially if you're getting financing, chances are at some point there will be an appraisal that happens on the house that you're purchasing or that you're selling. And occasionally, the appraisal can come in saying that the home value is less than what the sales price is. And if that happens, obviously the bank that is giving you the money for the property doesn't want to finance you for more than what the market value of the home is. So it can create an issue. And so I wanted to chat about what your options are when that happens. Yeah, so you have a few um, different options. Um, the first being you as the buyer, of course, um, have the opportunity to dispute that appraisal. You can go out and um, ask of your bank to request a new appraisal and, and see if we get a different opinion on that home um, if you choose to do that. Um, you can request that the seller drops the price to meet the appraised value uh, because your bank typically will not finance the amount um, that's in between the appraised value and the sales price right. and so um, you'll need to see if the seller would be willing to drop the price to the appraised value and in many cases they will and they should um, because you shouldn't spend more for a property than what it's worth um, according to an appraiser. <clears throat> um, you can check and see um, if you are able to negotiate something with the seller in terms of maybe you bring some additional cash to the table to cover that gap and the seller does drop the price to some extent um, just to kind of split the difference there um, because again the bank will not finance that gap typically um, or at this point if your contract is contingent upon financing and the appraisal is part of that financing process then you do have the opportunity um, to walk away from the contract and consider it null and void and in most cases get your deposit back mm -hmm. um, so some different things to consider we do see this happen sometimes sometimes the appraised value comes in higher than the sales price <laughs> <is good>. sometimes, <laughs> many times and probably most often it comes in at the exact um, sales price mm -hmm. um, because appraisers do typically get a copy of the contract and that does uh, weigh into the equation um, that they use. Um, but there are instances where the appraised value is uh, less than the sales price and in that case there's usually some negotiating that needs to be done mm -hmm. um, but typically we can resolve that issue as long as the gap isn't too big. Right um, and so. it's usually not. Right. Mm -hmm. So those are some things that we can help you with when we get to that point, if we do come to that circumstance. Mm -hmm. um, but we just wanted to kind of give you some tips on appraisals um, and what that looks like when the sales price and the appraisal don't match. So if you have any other questions for us, comment below, send us a message or give us a call. Uh, we look forward to working with you. Thanks. Thanks. Have a great week, guys.